Hi everyone, it's Retro Looker, and today we're doing an unboxing video. Now, <laughs> oh, I, I'm excited for this one. Now, on the channel, we usually unbox new things. Things that have just come out, things that have been on pre-order. But today, we're unboxing something very special. And that I've wanted for the longest of times, you know. As you can see, I'm a big Last of Us fan. Got my Last of Us t-shirt on, I got Joel's watch on, my entire setup is Last of Us themed, we've got my Last of Us PS5 and all the things and collector's items and so on that I absolutely love. And any Last of Us fan, any Last of Us collector, will have that one item that they've always wanted, that they just can never get due to price and demand or just quality or anything else and today I have finally after many many years got my hands on this item now if you don't know what it is I do <laughs> if you've never seen this before and when you have seen them you rarely see them in the box or great quality or so on this is the last of us one collector's edition this is the post-pandemic edition. Now this came out in 2013 along with the release of the original game and it was only a very measly $160 or about 120 British pounds. Now that's not a lot of money. Especially when we see other collector's editions, such as The Last of Us 2 collector's edition, that was what, I think it was 230, 250. You know, other, other collector's editions that we've seen as well are a lot of money these days, somewhere between 180, 230, 250, depending on who and where you get it from. But this was a, like a GameStop exclusive, I believe. So, you know, they're rare as hell anyway. People who have them don't sell them. And people who do sell them, these have gone for, you know, I always watch them. This is from eBay. I always watch them. They're not cheap. You know, I've seen these go for a thousand, fifteen hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred. I was really lucky with this one. I always watch them when I see them. Hoping for price drops, fluctuations, all those kind of things. I always watch them. They're usually at least eight hundred pounds. I know some of my friends have managed to pick these up a few years ago for around six hundred, those kind of prices. I know a lot about it. I know what kind of price to expect. This one itself was on eBay for a long time, about 700, maybe six, I forget, but it came up the other day, it was relisted with a price drop, and I paid 500 pounds. Now that is a lot of money, don't get me wrong, that is, you know, we're talking big bucks here, five times the original value, nearly, but I know that I probably am not going to find it for that cheap again. The longer time goes on, the more rare, the more valuable these are going to get. And the fact that it's in the box, the fact that it's in such good condition, are all factors I have bought something for life here. You know, I, I'm never going to sell this. So I don't care about inflation and retaining retail value and stuff like that, but for me, this is the holy grail of The Last of Us collection. Now, there are other pieces that I want. But this, this is where it's at for me. I've always wanted this and I'm so excited to jump in and finally see it, finally get my hands on it. So I thought what better opportunity than to do it on the channel and show you guys as well because not everyone would have seen one of these uh, like in person or even in the box and I've never seen one in person before. So this is my first time and I'm over the moon. So let's jump in and see what it's about now it's i say it's not complete it doesn't come with the game or any of the other bits but i i can pick those up separately i'm not too bothered it's the statue that i really care about so let's take a look at the box as you can maybe see here the box itself is not in perfect condition i don't care about this as long as the statue is you know it's seen a couple of drops there's a little knock there where it's been dropped there's a little crinkle in this corner where it's clearly been dropped. Um, there's one on the back as well. Little one here where it's been dropped on the corner. I'm not too bothered about them. 
it'd be nice if the box was perfect condition but the more perfect condition you get the more pricey it becomes now nothing wrong with the box this can still be displayed i will still display it i love it so we've got joel and ellie on the front in black and white last of us logo there on the side we also have the last of us logo same on the back same on the other side and on top we have the last of us logo again underneath we have uh, Naughty Dog, PS, PlayStation, and Triforce. And then it says on the bottom here, The Last of Us 2013, Sony Entertainment America, created and developed by Naughty Dog, uh, PlayStation, and made by Triforce on behalf of Sony, made in China. Now, there's a couple of nicks on the box, but like I said, I don't care about that, as long as what is inside is good. So let's open it up. I'm gonna lift it down here so you can, so I can lift it out and show you. Because even the polystyrene insert to me is impressive. I, I even enjoy that bit. So let's get it up. And on the top here it says warning, this is fragile. Okay, we know all this. Now, what one of the things that I do like about this, and this if these tend to go missing or get damaged quite easily as well. So the fact it still has this, it just sweetens the deal even more. Oops, it's upside down. This is the backdrop for the statue. And if you should probably recognize this, it is from the front cover of the game. If you remember, Joel is stood uh, here and Ellie is stood here. And they've included this as a backdrop for the statue. And I absolutely love that. It's absolutely amazing. Like I said, sometimes you don't see these with the statue because they get lost, they get damaged, and a number of other things. So I'm really glad that that still exists and is within the, the box because, like I said, it's not always the case. So let's get out the uh, polystyrene insert. And like I said, this itself is nice work of art, I think, as well. Now, there we go. So on top, excuse the squeaking. On top, this is where the game would have sat. There was also an art book. And uh, I think American Dreams was part of this. I'm not too sure. It comes with a steel book as well, which is super rare these days. Unfortunately, it doesn't have it. If it did, we could have, we would have paid a, a lot more than we did. But like I said, you know, I've had the game, I've always had the game, I've had it for years. I don't have the steel book, I'm not too bothered. My copy of The Last of Us is signed by True Baker, so I, I'm, I'm much rather that than, than the steel book right now. So as we can see here, The Last of Us is embossed onto the front here. It's all very nice, I really like it. It, the polystyrene itself has done its job, it is in good condition, uh, hopefully it has protected the statue from those, you know, impacts that the box has had to suffer. Okay, <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh wow, it's like meeting your hero, or, you know, I don't know if anyone else understands this, it's like, it's just that prized possession you've always wanted, and it's it's finally in my hands and I've had to pay for it and it's a lot of money but it's uh, it's definitely worth it in my mind and I know a lot of people will look at me and I've heard it before you know they just sort of laugh and say oh, not for that price and you know it's like to me it's it's worth it and I think that's what's important here so here we go let's open it up oh yeah oh great okay wow okay i'm gonna get it out to show you actually i'll lift it up to show you first please don't drop it on the floor <laughs> okay oh it's quite heavy as well okay so this is the statue itself and it is big i think that's uh coming up uh, 12 inches maybe 10 and wow i mean i never expected it to be this good i guess i don't know sometimes when we get statues they're not great quality and i don't mean the quality like that it's been kept in i mean like the build quality sometimes especially with smaller statues they lose a lot of the detail in the faces and and the details when when going smaller but this i really like it 
Now, one thing I will say straight away, and this is... Now, I've looked for a lot of these over the years. I'm going to be so careful not to drop it. Ellie's rifle. Yeah. Intact. Look at that. I've seen a lot. They're broken off here. And people, they don't even realize. They're like, oh yeah, it's in perfect condition. It's the best one you'll ever see. Snapped off rifle. You know, and a lot of it is like... It's just, it's really beautiful and I really love it. I mean, that's just my first impressions. We're going to go around it and we're going to look very in-depth details. So, we have Joel and Ellie from The Last of Us 1. Uh, for a 2013 collector's edition as well, it's well painted. The, the intention to detail is fantastic. It looks very well made. I I like everything about it. I'd say this is better quality than The Last of Us 2 statue we got. I did hear some complaints from fans about the painting being a little flat and needs a bit more like uh, contrast and stuff. The details are a lot simpler than The Last of Us 2 statue, like on Ellie's Converse. It's quite simplified. There's not too many textures on the... The model itself but it's very good and especially for a nearly 10 year old collector's edition and uh oh, I'm, I'm just so impressed and to me it's it's definitely worth the money like i i, I love it like let me turn it on its bottom a sec so underneath it says the last of us it says naughty dog playstation it's literally what was on the bottom of the box i'll just briefly show you it is not numbered which means I don't know how many pieces this was limited to, but I know for a fact these are rare as hell. Now, they're sat on a, um, we don't really have these in England, but like a, a newspaper machine where you'd put in like a, a quarter or something and they'd, they'd free up a newspaper. On the newspaper stand, it's got a little newspaper that says The Last of Us in there. I don't know if you can see that too well. Uh, got the nice little grid here, the little plants growing out. Ellie sat on the the paper machine. Lots of nice textures around here. I mean, you can see it's hand painted as well. Like you can see the brush strokes and everything that have gone into it, which I really like. Uh, we've got around the back. We got Jules mask, which is quite sort of flimsy and like almost. Uh, free. Yeah, it's literally just slot on there. I can't remove it because it's part of the statue, but it is literally its own sort of separate entity. Uh, we got some little shotgun shells around the back there. <sighs> I was going to say, I don't know if one of them's missing, but um, I think it's just where, the, where it's been glued down and the paint's on. We've also got Joel's torch there as well, which isn't part of the backpack because it's around there. We've got some, lots of nice details here, lots of nice colours. Joel's shirt, which is really cool, very well painted. Joel's backpack, Ellie's backpack with the little pin badges and things on. I mean, I absolutely love it, and I I've had a, an internal battle about whether to display it. Or keep it in the box until I can like get a proper like glass cabinet for it and keep it safe forever because this is probably now one of my most rarest and prized possessions and I absolutely love it and it's just oh, I know I'm easy to please and I know I give a lot of 10 out of 10s <laughs> but this one is just oh, definitely definitely the best thing I've ever bought <laughs> without a doubt and you know I'm looking forward to getting more Last of Us statues you know now I've started spending more money on some of these rarer things you know I've pre-ordered the Joel statue from Dark Horse uh, I didn't manage to get the Ellie or the Abbey uh, 12 inch ones but you know I, I think I will start investing more in these like really rare high detailed collector's editions such as this one you know, and it's like, the more I look at it, the more I see, you know, the little creases in Joel's shirt, the little veins on his arm, even. Ellie's strands of hair, her ponytail, 
the the dirt the grime you know the laces on the shoes it's it's just it's very it's very well done especially for an early on like collector's edition like this uh you know <laughs> definitely rare as hell definitely a 10 out of 10 for me and for anyone who wants one of these obviously i can't leave a link in the description but if you have been wanting one for years and years and years keep an eye out you know i i do a search on ebay maybe once a week for the last of us stuff and just scroll through stuff and i do end up finding rarities and bargains and stuff like that uh this one of course was not the biggest bargain in the world because it was still a lot of money but compared to what other listings are going for at this time they're only ever going to get more and more expensive so if you see one and it's like 500 pound is a decent amount to pay i think it's a lot of money it is but i've seen them go for double and it's like they're only going to get more and more rare as we go on into the future and uh yeah i love it it's just it's so well done so well painted not a single bit of damage on the entire thing you know the statue itself has been kept in very good condition so well done to the guy who uh who sold it to me but yeah i've seen some in really bad condition you know ellie's rifle is usually broken off and i've seen them for more than i paid for this you know i've seen them for 800 with the rifle snapped off like i said the, the sellers don't even notice i've seen one Joel was missing. <laughs> it was just, and the person didn't even know they were like, oh, Ellie's statue from The Last of Us, and they were trying to sell it for 800 quid. It's like, I can't believe it, but I'm so thankful to have had the opportunity and the means to buy this, and it's just the best thing I've got in my collection right now. You know, the logo on Ellie's t shirt, even the little trigger in the gun, it's all there, uh, it's all amazing. And, uh, um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think, you know, have you always wanted The Last of Us 1 Collector's Edition? Have you had an opportunity to buy it and passed up, and it's now triple the price you wanted to pay? These are just part of gaming and collector's life, you know it, I know it. But I am so utterly happy with this. Please let me know. It's, uh, I'm, I'm almost speechless. I've got everything to say about it and can't think of anything to say. Just even the dry brushing on the dirt and everything is just such good quality. I can't wait to display it or put it away, take pictures of it. I, I just, I love it. It's amazing. So definitely 10 out of 10. If you can get one cheap, I highly recommend it. Even if it was to keep to sell later on, if they're only going to get more and more valuable or as time goes on. So, yeah, that's me for today. It's a happy one. <laughs> uh, okay. Thanks very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. There is a link in the description for Retro Liquor Merch. Me, Joel, and Ellie. We'll see you later.